Yeah, Ghost Cubby. I find myself enjoying it quite a bit, if I'm being honest. The hell am I looking at? It's like a sandwich? I'm reading up above. Can you believe I've actually never had a walking taco? Ground beef or chicken, onions, garlic, ginger, green chilies, cilantro, coriander powder, cumin powder, garam masala. That's a pretty dead giveaway. Bread or bun, egg, oil, potatoes, yogurt, chutney, lettuce, tomato, cucumber, mint, turmeric, and lemon juice. This dish involves making spice ground meat patties using such ingredients as onion, green chilies, ginger, garlic, and various spices. The patties are then fried until cooked. Served in a bun, offered layer with chutney. Sliced onions, uh, cucumbers, and tomatoes. Some versions include an omelet or fried egg. The buns are typically toasted with a bit of oil or buttered until crispy. Borders India. It's not India, though. Is this Pakistan? There we go. Bun kebab. It's Nepal. Dude, I'd turn it off and put Isaac back on. I don't have time. For food guessers, Nepalese games today. Oh, it's from Karachi. That is the hometown <clears throat> of celebrated comedian and now shredded Marvel actor Kumail Nanjiani. He is from Karachi in Pakistan. Yeah, street vendor food. Dude, I'd tear this up. I would tear this up. What's going on, Woo? Man, a kebab in a bun. Yeah, these look good. These look really good. I'm a sucker for a sandwich. Yeah, Indian sliders? Hell yeah, I'll take 14 of them. Mm. Oh, that was a tamarind sauce? Damn, that would go hard. We know how to eat. Hey, speaking of bolillos... Oh, sorry. Birote Bir bread, pork, refried beans, tomato sauce, chili sauce, onion, garlic, vinegar, oregano, lime, salt, and avocado. Dude, it is a sandwichy kind of day. This looks dope as hell. It's like some crazy ass wet torta. Well, this is the color of Mexico's flag. So if this follows the rule of Italian food, this has got to be Mexican. Yeah, there we go. This dish involves slicing a bolillo roll. Filling it with carnitas and then submerging it in a spicy tomato sauce. The sandwich is topped with pickled onions and sometimes served with an additional sauce on the side. Really? A little more, you think? For added heat, a salsa made from arbol chili peppers can be spooned over the top. It's typically enjoyed with a refreshing beverage to counter the spiciness. It looks like a torta. Yeah. I'll eat my hat if that's not Mexican food. Torta ahogada. <clears throat> Torta ahogada, which translates to drowned sandwich, is the traditional uh, dish of the city of Guadalajara in the Mexican state of Jalisco. Typically, it consists of berote, a uh, type of crusty bread similar to a baguette, filled with carnitas, which is deep fried pork, and bathed in a spicy tomato sauce. I've never had a torta. Can you believe that? I have never had any kind of torta. I go to a place in Richmond that is called TBT El Gallo. And the TBT stands for Torta, Burrito, and Tacos. But the one time that I, the, the last time that I went there, the last three times I've been there, they have not had any tortas on the menu. I've never had a torta. I mean, I've had a, I've had a fucking sandwich before. I've just never had a Mexican sandwich before. 
A uh, dish is believed to have been invented in the 20th century. According to local lore, the creation of the torta ahogada was accidental. A street vendor <laughs> reportedly dropped a sandwich into a uh, container of spicy sauce, and then rather than discarding it, he decided to serve it. The resulting dish gained popularity for its unique combination of flavors and textures. <clears throat> you need to correct this lack of tortas. I, they look amazing. Even even the mug shots look good. Which means that these glamour photos are going to be out of control. Yeah, see, I'm half cocked now. Oh. Aching ass those shots look good. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. These photos look good. Uh, uh, I want it so bad. Um... Oh, fuck, that looked good. The bread's crucial. Salty version of bread. Dense, crispy texture can withstand the saucy topping without becoming overly so uh, overly soggy. Distinguishes itself from other types of Mexican tortas which may use softer rolls. God, this shit looks so good. I'm sponsored by a beer company, Ronnie, but I do not drink beer all that often. I only drink it on like weekends or when I've had like a, a long, hard day of doing yard work or going to the gym and I rewarded myself with one at the end. But even when I was at my fattest, I, I don't drink very often. The hangovers at 44 are way too intense. The hangovers are a lot. <laughs> Send your sponsor my way. There, you, Here you go. There you go. I do love me some Voodoo Ranger from New Belgium Brewing Company. Some of the best IPAs America has to offer, at least on a large, on a large production scale. I'm sure there are locals that are, you know, are nailing it, but mass produced. Ew. Ew. I'm just, I also don't have much of a sweet tooth. Egg, sugar, butter, vanilla extract, flour, salt, pie crust, nutmeg, cinnamon, cheese, ham, vegetables. The fuck am I looking at? This dish is a popular treat typically found in local bakeries. It has a rich custard-like filling encased in a flaky golden crust. The flavor profile is somewhat similar to a tart, but with a distinct sweetness that makes it a beloved snack or dessert. It is often enjoyed during merienda time, providing a delightful break in the afternoon. Merienda? Is that Portuguese? Spanish? What is that? Merienda. Did you two do this? Is this some sort of illegitimate love child that you two have cranked out? Merienda is Spanish. Is this Spain? If it's not Spain, it's, I, I guess, someone down here. Peruvian? Maybe. I don't know. Cheese, ham, or vegetables. So I'm guessing it can be either sweet or savory. It's basically just pie. You think Southern France? I mean, if it was a quiche, I'd give it to you. If this is like a quiche Lorraine or something like that. It makes sense. But there's a hard-ass pie crust on top. This isn't open at the top. This is pie crusted all the way through. This is fucking just a pie. Argentina? We do, we do find ourselves going to Argentina an awful lot because of the European expats. <laughs> Mostly Germans and Italians fleeing the consequences of World War II end up in Argentina and, and brought a lot of their food sensibilities with them. <sighs> My instinct says Spain. It is not. Yo, not only that, it is the wrong direction. According to this, it is not Spain. And not only is it not Spain, it's this way? Make me understand. I am so confused. No, it can't be the Philippines. It's northeast. 
What, Russia? Is there an intense Spanish population in Russia I don't know about? Show it again. Yeah, a little, little ticker down here is pointing northeast of Spain. Scandinavian? Austria? It's more east than north, it feels. I mean, it really is kind of the... the yeah, it's a little more east than north. Yeah, so if I had to venture a guess, I'm thinking we're saying this way. Yeah, I mean, we do have to remember that the Earth is round, but generally speaking, it gives us directions based on, like, a flat map and not on a round surface. You think it's Balkan? You think it's the old, uh... You think it's the old, uh... Balkan breakfast? I'm so confused. I kind of want to go like Armenia. I don't think it's Georgia. We were looking at Georgian food yesterday. Georgia has awesome food. This does not look good. Yeah, I hate this, Ronnie, but I, I feel like maybe I've seen food come out of Lith well, There's been some good food that's come out of Lithuania. Maybe Latvia or Estonia? I've seen some kind of, not to be an asshole, some kind of trash-ass food come out of there. Let's try Estonia. I got nothing. Egg pie. And it still it shows as being southeast now. I don't. I don't want to. Uh, we're so not close. I don't want to waste a guess. Go Philippines. Yeah, sure. I, at this point, I'm fla I'm flabbergasted. Oh, get fucked. <laughs> go philippines i just google cheated why we had guesses left why would you do that i don't understand if i wanted the answers i i would just google it myself that's not cool this is the only food guesser i was going to do today because we're running behind that's a bummer El Pablo gave you the answer. Yeah, but K Stroop came in right behind him and was like, I Googled it. And I was like, well, I fucking, I got Google on this thing too. <laughs> <laughs> 